Hey guys, DJ Do here again. All right, man, I had a question the other day asking me about what headphones have I been using lately. Now, I am a headphone snob. I have Sony's, I have Techniques, I have V-Modas, um, and then I have my workhorses. And these two are my workhorses, um, not even my V-Modas. Everyone's like, oh, you know, the V-Modas are so nice. I'll talk about V-Modas later. Uh, I have some issues with V-Modas. But, um, but let's talk about the two headphones that I've been using the most lately. And I learned that, that bringing out these super expensive headphones, like I had a pair of Pioneer um, HDJ um, X10s, I believe, is that the model number? And if I'm mistaken, I'll, I'll put it up there. But I had a pair of those and I actually, I was in Houston playing and I was playing with a band and it was raining and, or it started to rain and everybody was just rolling cases off the stage and they completely ran over my headphones and destroyed them. And I tried to go to Pioneer, ask them if they could fix them and it would just, it would have been as much money to fix them as it would have been to buy new ones. So from that day forward, I said, I will never go buy headphones again for 300 or whatever, how much money that I paid for those headphones when I bought them. Um, Cause I bought them like right when they came out and I'll never do that again. And so anyhow, so these are the two I've been using lately and I use these for the Super Bowl and then I use these for the Houston Rodeo and in Dominican Republic last week. And there's pros and cons to both of them. Uh, and I'll tell you which ones that I like the most. So let's get into it. Check it out guys. Okay, let's check out the fit and the look. Uh, here are the Sennheisers HD25. And, um, and of course, over here, I have the Pioneer HDJX5s. Um, here are the Sennheisers. These are classic headphones right here. And let me just show you the look real quick. So here they are on my head. I did put gray um, ear uh, padding on it. Um, it did come with two different ear paddings, but I don't know. I just wanted the gray. It just looked a little different and popped a little bit more, but here's the gray ones on. They look like here on the side, on the side. Sennheiser's HD 25s right here. Now let me come over here and let's look at the Pioneer, uh, right here, the HDJ X fives. This is how they look. These obviously look a little bit bigger, a little larger, a little larger. These are over the ear headphones where these are on the ear headphones. Um, as far as noise isolation, right off the bat, pretty darn good actually, shockingly. The Sennheisers, they have a really tight grip on the head, which not a lot of people aren't gonna like that. I don't know, that's pretty close actually, as far as noise, these are on the ear, so, but these grip really tight. Like, I'm not sure if I would like this, you know, if I wore these like continuously, I take off my headphones all the time, so I'm on, they're off, um, pretty cool. These also, you can pull up the ear padding on one side only. You can pull it down, so you can kind of wear it as a single ear. Uh, you can adjust the headband here, as you can see. These are actually autographed by Diplo and Dustin Lynch, country music artist, and uh, pretty cool. Um, on these, these do lay flat right here. Put them on. You could kind of put them off your ear like that if you wanted to. So maybe the same principle um, or around your neck. These do lay way better than the Sennheisers around the neck, which is something I do like. If you try to put the Sennheisers around the neck, they're kind of, they're not horrible, but they're definitely in my neck. They're definitely in my Adam's apples right there. And um, not too bad. So these are the Sennheisers. And of course the Pioneers right here. Let's look at the cables real quick. Right here, the cable. Let me stop that thing. Okay, let's look at the cable real quick. So the cable on the Pioneer, you can get these cables anywhere, but they are, it's detachable. It is a coil type cable. It has a removable uh, one eighth inch jack. 
uh, quarter inch to one eighth. So right here, the screws, it's the screw on. So you can unscrew this, as you see, and you screw it on nice and easy. And then to put the cable back in, boom, that's it, done. Pretty cool. On the Sennheisers, these are detachable. Um, actually, everything, the one cool thing about Sennheisers is that they're iconic for one, they're small, they're lightweight, they don't fold up though, so remember that, they don't fold up, so this is about as, as, as small as you're gonna get them. Um, the Pioneers do fold up, and you can throw them in the bag like this and wrap them up and do whatever. Um, uh, with these though, these are a module system, so you could take apart any piece and put another piece on put a put a replacement piece on that's the beauty about these things these things are great for that uh but you're not going to take off the cable real quick on the road if you need to put another cable in or the cable went bad or you just want to take it out um to store it then that's not going to happen with these you're gonna it's going to take a minute to put a new cable in you got to wrap it around here you got to do a couple things and um but that's with these uh they do both come with bags this one comes now this one came with a couple things so the sennheisers here came with a coiled cable which came pre-installed i got the plus model so it does come with a pre-installed coiled cable some people don't like that i do um it gives you a little more length and diggity as my boy flossy said um it comes with a straight cable right here that you have to you know you can replace if you want a straight it's much lighter i think it's only about six feet so it doesn't give you a whole lot of distance not too bad comes with extra padding including velour paddings so when those go bad you can just replace your padding on them and or the padding that you have on now i have three pairs now because these the ones i have on here now are aftermarket padding and i'll leave a description you know a link in the description i got them on amazon for like 15 bucks or something and i like the way they look like this you know and then of course i have signatures on here from diplo and dustin lynch as i said earlier and uh, this also has a removable adapter right there. Put that back on. Um, this adapter on the Pioneer though, it's at a 90 degree angle, which I like better to be honest. It doesn't stick up. You know, if you have this into a mixer, into a, to a 900 or an A9 or a controller, it's flush against it, where this one just kind of just sticks up. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Um, but you know, as far as sound quality, uh, if you, if you're wanting to listening to, if you just want to listen to music, these sound freaking amazing. They're, they're flat and the details there, uh, but they do, they're tight on your head. So maybe not for hours and hours and hours, I would listen to music on this, but they do sound great. These are meant for DJing. They're not meant for to be the best as far as acoustically, but they sound good. And they, they they emphasize what you need to get emphasized to be a DJ. There's, you know, there's a difference between being an audiophile and there's a difference with being a musician and what you need to DJ with. There's a difference between these and being an engineer. If you want to be an engineer, then maybe go for these ones, you know, and these may be a little bit better for engineering, you know. Even these I wouldn't kind of recommend for that. I have other headphones I can show you too later that I would use. I have some Audio Technicas um, that I can show you that are much better for engineering. Um, it's So, I don't know, that's just preference, but I think that for DJing, these are made for DJing. These are also over the ear, which is a little more comfortable to me. Uh, they both come with bags. This one comes with a, the Pioneers come with a Pioneer bag and you can see the logo on it. And uh, right here, just goes in the bag like this. This bag is waterproof, actually. Not that it really matters for headphones that much, but it is waterproof. Fits in there with the cable, pretty good. And doesn't take up a whole, because they fold up, it doesn't take up hardly any space in your, in your backpack. Right there. Sennheisers, same thing, kinda. These don't fold up as small. Um, but let's put the coil around. They come with a bag right here, at least my model did. Um, and uh, 
they uh you know it has all the branding on it uh this bag is not as nice as the pioneer bag it's pretty cheap actually but it is a bag it does the justice that you need it to do these are you know they're all kind of bulletproof they're plastic but they're bulletproof um and there you go so here we go sennheisers the bag right there and the pioneer bag right here so pioneer bag is smaller and uh takes up a little less room uh let's talk about this the build quality uh they're both plastic i mean what are you gonna do but they do stretch i mean this has pretty good stretch right there i mean i'm pretty pretty hard man i'm pretty if you break these i'm i'll be pretty impressed i mean anybody could break anything to be honest but i mean if you're accidentally break them if you intentionally try to break them that's another story uh these are the pioneers right here and let's check out the stretchableness on this these are great too you know we would really have to go at it to, to get these things to break too shockingly these have metal uh metal bands underneath here so they're not as cheap as what the price says they are um like i said i had those x the hdj hdj x tens like those things are built like a tank but then again a, a guitar case ran over it and destroyed them so these actually you know are i would say almost built not as good but i think they'll last just as long these are in the matte black color and i kind of dig them like the logo right here is very subdued and they're cheap and i mean not not i wouldn't say cheaply made i mean but they're cheap cheaply they're cheaper than the other ones like the the sevens and the tens and but i wouldn't say they're cheap either like i don't and they almost look the same i don't think anybody would notice a difference on stage whether you have these which you could get probably for a hundred bucks if not less for these you could probably get for 150 for the plus version maybe 200 for the plus version maybe 140 120 but i've seen them as low as 99 dollars for these as well so there you go as far as frequency range let's take a look at that all right guys here are the hd 25 these are the plus versions uh on the ear headphones this is the box that they come in um legendary legendary sound uh split headband rotating ear cups capable of handling high sound pressure levels uh that is true about these uh, you can get loud with these. Uh, you can get loud with both of them, actually. Uh, they are a closed back design, uh, so they do kill like a lot of um, ambient inf ambient sound out of there. Um, you can get up to about 120 dBs, and so you can get these loud in a loud working environment. Uh, flip away ear cup. They um, have a, a frequency response from uh, 16 hertz all the way to 22 hertz. Uh, very highly accurate monitoring um, comes with the pouch these are the plus models 199 these are 199 so check these out and um, 199 but I've seen them cheaper I've seen them for the plus model I have seen them get pretty low so check them out keep your eye out for them great headphones and um, I'll tell you which ones I like better but take it let's take a look at the pioneer okay right here are the xd5s right here pioneer uh awesome headphones so i mean for the money here you go so right here have a, f a frequency response from 5 hertz to uh 30 000 hertz uh dynamic drivers provide accurate monitoring for djs uh 40 millimeter filler uh, 40 millimeter drivers uh definitely flexible um uh, ear cups and band ear band military tested to military grade construction and certification comes with a bag comes with a coiled cable and um there you go so there's the box right here for the pioneer x5s let's take a look at these together so there's the two boxes together which ones do i like better well, I'll be honest. I like the Pioneers better. And I'll tell you why. For one, they're cheaper. And they're, they, they're more comfortable on my ear. As far as sound isolation, they do a good enough job. 
are they as accurate as the Sennheisers as far as like, you know, listening to music and stuff? Uh, maybe not, but that's not what they're for. That's not what I'm using these for. I'm using these for DJ. I'm looking at it from a DJ perspective. They fold up smaller. They're easier to put in my bag and travel around. They're built great. I don't care. They're not cheap, as cheap as you'd think for the price. They look, they look good. They're built great. They're more comfortable on the ears. These do look smaller on the ear, which I do kind of like, but I don't know. I find them very uncomfortable. I find this piece too at the bottom, like it sticks into my neck sometimes or, or something. When I take them off, they kind of scratch me a little bit. I don't like that either. Still good headphones, but at the end of the day, it's the Pioneer HD5s. All right, guys, there's my thoughts on these two headphones, the Sennheiser HD25s and the Pioneer right here, HDJ X5s. Um, these are great, man, I'm telling you. Don't sleep on them, man. Don't look at the price and say they're crap, man. They're not that crappy, man. For wit, not that crap. They're not crappy at all. They, they, you know, they do the job, man. I've had the HDJ, the X10s, and I'm telling you right now, I destroyed them. I, I had a cart run over them, and, and then boom, now I'm out of three hundred something dollars. These, if I if I lose these or, or they get broken, then so be it. But I'm telling you, they're they're military tested grade. I've already had them now for over a year. And I have not had any issues with them whatsoever. And I play a lot. I play five days a week all over the world. And I've used these. I've used these too. But these, um, these, so there's something, I, I just got to point this out. There's a, right here where you put the ear cups down, it's something that digs into my neck, man. I don't know what it is. I don't like it. It makes it uncomfortable. So like, and they're so tight that when I pull them over, they snap back and like, I don't know, there's something I don't like it. But listen, if you're an audiophile and and you want something kind of in between being the best, the best audiophile headphones and being a DJ and being able to be use them as a DJ, then these are legendary. You're not going to go wrong. They're great headphones. $199. Or you could pay $100, half the money, get these, and they're good as shit, man. I'm telling you, man, you're not going to be disappointed. You're going to thank me later. You're going to say, dude, those aren't too bad. They look good. They look like they're higher end headphones where the Q1s, like I literally tossed them off stage because I didn't care, but they, they weren't that bad either. They were more on the ear. These are over the ear headphones. They're much more comfortable for long hours. They feel good on the neck. They fold up. You can put them in your you know back. They, they eat up less real estate in your backpack. Don't sleep on them. Check these out. Again, the Pioneer HDJ X5s. All right, guys. With that, thank you so much for tuning in again. Don't forget about my series coming up, How We Make It In Music. That's coming soon, starting Tuesday, I believe. And, um, and with that, I'm going to kind of tell you my process and how I was able to develop my career over these years and how you can go from playing essentially small bar, small parties, house parties with your friends to playing the big stages, big stadiums and big arenas and, um, and still be able to get there without having to produce crazy number one hits and do all this kind of other stuff. There is a process to do it and I'm going to let you know how I did it. Uh, will it work for you? I don't know, but I'm at an age right now that I'm just going to give out all my secrets. Why not? So keep turning in, follow, subscribe, leave some comments. Let me know some other headphones that you may like. Let me know things you want me to talk about. I don't write a script. I just talk off the cuff. I don't give a shit about a script. Don't mean anything to me. Um, if you want all fancy production, there's other guys that do that and you can have all the production in the world. I just talk from the heart. And so all the information you get about this kind of crap is from the heart. That's all it is from a DJ out there using this gear. There you have it, folks. I'll see you soon.